Alexa Lorenzo shows us the remarkable work of the NICU team, which you're familiar with, mm -hmm. at Orlando Health Winnie Palmer Hospital. They did a, such a great job taking care of my triplets, mm -hmm. and they also gave twin sisters a fighting chance, and the passion of these nurses and doctors is what keeps Central Florida strong. I just spilled energy okay. drink. This is Laura Freeland. This is amazing. She's one of the happiest, most grateful people you'll ever meet. Why? You're busy? Because she gets to hold these two every day. This is Vivian. And this is Margot. She's happy because, well, just look at them. Yeah! But she's grateful because getting to these hugs came with more than 100 hurdles. Laura gave birth to Vivian and Margot at 22 weeks, and they each weighed just a bit over one pound. It was a fight for their life that started, and we knew going into it that the odds were not good. Only one in seven babies born as early as that make it, and the odds are even worse for twins. Vivian was in the NICU for 135 days, Margot for 224, and combined they had 12 surgeries. There were days where I was like, this is it. Like, I'm going to have to say goodbye to my daughter today. Uh, and I don't know how that didn't happen, uh, but here we are. And she knows they wouldn't be here without the remarkable team at Orlando Health Winnie Palmer Hospital. Neonatologists, they don't believe in odds. They believe in giving every baby a fair chance and trying to see what's possible. Nurse Andrea Mayorini and her team in the level three NICU helped the twins overcome severe sepsis, countless codes and several setbacks. Their training and expertise gave these two a fighting chance. And they really are a testament to why it is important that we do what we do because not every hospital is even willing to try to save babies that are born at 22 weeks. Most hospitals will only deliver a baby as young as 24 weeks because they just don't have the technology or the level of care to help save a baby younger than that. You really need to be in a hospital that has a level three NICU that can provide that care. And Winnie Palmer provided that and more. To add to all this, Vivian and Margot were being cared for by these miracle workers during the start of the pandemic. So family couldn't be there to see the girls or help out in any way. But the hospital showed them a special app called Ease. We can take a picture of something that's going on, send a little update, and then send it to the parents. So this is how a lot of Laura's family met the babies from a very safe virtual distance. It gave us such peace to know what was going on. But the greatest peace after the pain of the unknown for these two is being at home and being healthy. They're just crawling around like perfectly normal babies. Like it is outrageous. She knows the team at Winnie Palmer saved her daughters and now the pair is the perfect picture of Central Florida strength. You wanna say bye? Say bye. Catch the next WFTV tonight at 11.